In this video, I'm going to show you how you can incorporate infographics into your Power BI reports using the Infographics Designer Custom Visual. I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with it and also a few things to consider if you're thinking about using this in your reports. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So Power BI provides you with a lot of tools and customization options in order to help visualize data a lot easier for your users. These are let's say the basic charts, so your bar charts and pie charts that are available by default. And another way to visualize your data is through the use of infographics, which is essentially using shapes and icons to make your reports and your visuals more engaging for your users. Let's have a look at this demo file that I prepared for you today. We have here a Power BI desktop file, which just has one table. Now, usually there are a few tables here, but in this case, to simplify this demo, we have just one table, which is a list of all different categories of products and the sales for each of those categories. And along with that, I've also created a measure here called percent sales, which simply calculates the total amount of sales done by category against the total amount of sales. So to visualize this a lot easier, let's go back to the report view here. Let's bring in the table, put in our category name, category sales, and our percentage sales. So you can see if we sort this by category sales descending, you will see that, for example, dairy products accounts for 19% of the total category sales. We're going to come back to this measure later, but for now, let's remove this from our table. And let's start by just converting this table into a simple bar chart. Now, in this case, I'm going to just choose a clustered bar chart here, something like this. Now that we have our data in this bar chart, I want to convert this into an infographics chart instead. Now there's currently no native way to convert this bar chart into an infographics chart, at least not from the default out of the box visuals available to you. So we'll need to import a custom visual and don't be too alarmed about this custom visual because it's a visual created by Microsoft themselves. So let's start by opening the app source here. So under the ellipsis icon, let's click get more visuals. You need to be signed in first in your Power BI account in order to access the app source. Now from here, you simply need to select and search for the infographics designer. So this is what we're looking for, the infographic designer by Microsoft. So if you click on it, it will show you a sort of preview of what you can expect with this visual. So you can see you can convert your bar charts into a combination of different visuals. You can sh show waffle charts like this and customize things like your line charts and fill, which we're gonna go through together. So let's start by adding this uh, custom visual into our report here. And you'll see that it's imported. If you can see here in your visualizations pane, infographic designer. So we'll just make sure that this visual is selected and we'll convert this into an infographic designer like this. And from here, it doesn't look like this. Anything that really changes still a bar chart. But what you'll notice is that if I hover over it, you'll see that there's now a pencil icon next to it, which allows you to edit the mark. So if you click on that, it will open up a mark designer for us. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. This designer page allows you to format the bar chart itself. So it will allow you to add new elements in your charts like text boxes or images or even shapes. So you can format each element in your visual. Now, in this case, we only have one shape at the moment, uh, one element here in this visual. So in the format pane, you'll have some options to customize the shape, change the units, how many units are repeated in the chart itself, the fill, the value color, 
a background for your images or even controlling the ratio of the image or the shape itself. So if we try to change the element here in the shape, so if we select the shape here and choose a different icon here, so we can choose from the basic shapes or we can choose from some pre-created shapes for us. So let's go for food and drink and maybe let's try to use one of these. So let's just use this can, for example. So it looks a little bit weird now, but what it is, is it's essentially still a bar chart, but instead of a bar as in a rectangle being shown in the visual itself, with the infographics, you can be a little bit more creative and use shapes and icons instead. Now you lose a bit of the precision of the data that you had, but it's a trade-off that you make on making your visuals engaging to your users. So for this type of visual, for example, I would not leave it like this because obviously it looks weird being stretched like that, especially for larger bars. So if I'm using an icon like this one, for example, I would just make sure that I have the multiple units selected, which instead of stretching one icon or one shape, it will split it into multiple units. You do have options to change and add more rows in your charts. So for example, instead of just having uh, one row, you can have two rows of data or two units on the column. So something like this, but I don't use that typically just turn it off like this. I also enable a couple more formatting options like for example, keeping the aspect ratio of the icon themselves. So they are never stretched. And also if you turn on the compact units option here, it will make sure that each of the icons, at least in your page, uh, similar sizes. So this basically ensure that each unit of your shape stays roughly the same size in your chart. So it's a little bit more precise that way. One thing that you can customize here are the colors of each of your categories. And you can enable this by selecting the value color option here, which at first, changes all the colors and lets you set the color for all of them. However, if you click the data binding option down here, and instead of having none, you can select the category name here. It will list out all of the categories that we have in this visual. It auto assigns colors on each of the categories. Now you can customize that or in this case, we'll just leave it as it is. And if you hit apply, you'll notice that for each of those categories, the corresponding color will be applied. You can add new elements from the top menu here. So for example, here we only have one shape in our visual at the moment, but if you wanted to add a text box, you can also do that so you can insert a text. So in this case, what you'll notice is that for each of the bars, we have now a text on top of them, which we can use as data labels similar to the out of the box visuals. So let's just format this a little bit. So let's just align it to the center, leave it aligned to the top. Let's change the size of it a little bit bigger, let's say 20. And here in the text box, instead of having just a text manually entered here, we can choose data binding once again. And instead of having none here, we can choose category sales, which is what will be shown on that text box for each of those categories. We will change the decimal places to zero, leave it to automatic and hit apply. So you will see that now in our chart, you have the data labels on top of each of our categories. If we close this mark designer and have a look at how the chart looks like so far, and so far, so good, right? The majority of the customization options are in this mark designer. However, there are also a few options available for you in the format pane here. So if we go to the format here, you have just the chart, but you're able to customize a few things here, like for example, turning off the Y axis, which uh, not this one, but probably this one, because we don't need that anymore since we have the data labels and a few more options here, but the majority of the customization will be in the designer. Another way that you can use this custom visual is by binding the fill of the icons. So this brings us back to our percentage sales measure. So for example, let's, let's, I'm just going to move this to the side and we can create a new one here. So infographic designer, 
now we'll use the percentage sales that I've created and obviously it will just give me 100% and you'll notice that if I select a category here which you can see also still works as a cross filter it will give me the percentage of sales for those categories which is what I expect now what I want is to now create and make this into an infographic so that it's a lot more engaging so I'm gonna edit mark here and we have the text in the middle which I guess we'll leave it as it is we'll add a new shape and in this case let's look for something new maybe let's try let's try this one so it adds an image for us. Let's do our usual thing. So in this case, because there's only one visual and it's not split like the bar chart, I will just simply make sure that it's in keep ratio and I won't, and I will just ignore everything else. So the colors, we want to control the colors based on the value that we have on the percentage sales measure. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the fill percentage here to be based on the percentage sales that we have created so we've already done the work for us so it's the percentage of sales of max value here which you will put as one because this measure already returns a percentage value so that will make sure that the percentage that we assign is based off the scale of 100 percent so that should be pretty much it we can modify the text as well just so that we can have the actual value in front of the visual itself so in this case let's put the text forward so i'm gonna just bring it to the front here and we can just leave it as it is so we'll close it and now we'll select their products to see what this returns and there you go so you can see that with this it works can see that we've selected dairy products which accounts for 19 percent of the total sales for all of our products beverages will adjust accordingly if we select other categories here so i gotta be honest throughout my career i've used infographics like this sparingly and only on certain scenarios mainly because infographics or at least in my perspective anyway they sacrifice a lot for what they provide which in this case is better engagement the first problem is what i've already mentioned before which is that you lose precision to what simple charts like bar charts and line charts provide so for example if you look at our infographics here with the cans you'll notice that condiments and produce although they represent two cans with the data labels you can see that they are they have a 2000 pounds different which is not an insignificant value that you want to differentiate now obviously you can supplement your infographics with data labels like we've done right here to help with this problem the second reason is more of a personal preference i like my reports to have minimal imagery in them uh, especially those that can be either too distracting or too misleading but I think in certain scenarios, infographics are a good way to visualize and make your data pop out. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how to incorporate infographics in your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.